Now let's look at how you actually edit your data in Roots Magic compared to PATH. In PATH, if you're looking at the main screen and you want to edit a person, you can just double click on their name and it'll bring up the Edit Individual screen, okay, where you have basically uh, the spot for the name, the sex, you have one spot for birth, one spot for christening, one spot for death and burial, and so on. And then down at the bottom, you'll have other events. Then over on the right, you'll have a button for your notes, sources, addresses, and multimedia pictures. But in PATH, you need to, to really edit a person and work with all their information. You have to work with through a couple different screens. For example, if you want to edit their marriage or look at a, uh, any family events, you have to click Edit and then Marriage. And then this will bring up the marriage screen for that person where you can edit their marriage and then uh, ordinances and events related to that couple. Like PATH, you can edit a person in Roots Magic by just double clicking their name in the edit screen or pressing the enter key. If we double click, it brings up the edit person screen. Now, a big difference between Roots Magic and PATH is this Edit Person screen. Instead of having multiple screens, one for each, one for the person, one for each family, spouse, and parents, Roots Magic puts all of that information in one place. And instead of having one spot for birth, one spot for death, you can add any number of events to the list. The reason why we can do that is Roots Magic. Uh, creates a list of all the facts and events about the person right here on the left. It sorts them chronologically, so it almost creates a timeline of the person's life. Up at the top, you'll see person with the person's name, any spouses, if they have multiple spouses, uh, you'll have those spouses here. If they have uh, parents, the parents will be listed here, and if they can even have multiple sets of parents, and they will all be here in the list. Down below, uh, you'll have a list of all the events and facts with the fact type. Here's the date, details such as the place or the name of the spouse. And then this displays the age at the time of the event. And then these three columns indicate with this little notebook, this is for notes. The next one with a little certificate, this is for sources. And the third column with the camera is for media and pictures. And you'll see if there is a checkbox in that column, it means that the person has something uh, for, that, for that event or uh, that piece of information will have the note, source, or a picture. For, for example, we see right here there is a note there's a checkbox in the note column for parents, which means that we have a note about that particular family. They met while attending Utah State University and dated for about a year before they were engaged. Okay. Now, uh, if we look, we can click on any of these events, and over on the right-hand side, it allows us to edit that information. So if we want to edit the birth, we just click on birth, and over on the right hand side, we are allowed to change the date, the place, place details, proof, uh, notes, sources, uh, sharing the fact, and so on. For the date, you can click on the, cal the little calendar, bring up a, a perpetual calendar, or a date calculator. For the place, you can uh, search a gazetteer of three and a half million places in the world if you need to look up a place or you can look up a list of, a place from uh, places that you've already used in your file now place details is different than in path in path you just have one box where you can enter the place roots magic splits that out into two boxes one is for the place and one is for the place details the best way to describe this is the place is the in and the place details is the at. So for example, he they were married in uh, Salem Story County, Iowa at 
and it could be the name of the church or the address of the courthouse, something like that. Uh, it could be he was born in Salem Story, Iowa at uh, Mary Greeley Hospital, or he was he was buried in Salem Story, Iowa at Salem City Cemetery Plot 14B, and so on. So it allows you to give it a little bit more detail in that regard with the place details. You can also, if you want to edit a person's name, you just click on person up at the top. That allows you to change their name. If you click on spouse, this allows you to change the labels for the husband and wife. And if you click on the parents, this allows you to change the relationship to the father and change the relationship to the mother. Now let's look at adding a new fact. Let's say we want to add a military service. Okay, so I will click add a fact. Okay, and this brings up a list of all the different fact types that are available to us. We can also create and add our own to this list. But I'm just going to start typing military. So I'm going to type M-I-L-I -I, and immediately it jumps down to military in the list. So I choose military and it adds it to our list and I can just add in the date right here. So I could say this was from um, 1926 through 1931 and I'll just leave the place empty and I'll save that. As soon as I save that, notice how military it pops right into place where it needs to chronologically. If I want to add a note for military, I just click right here in the note column and I can write notes about James's military service. If I want to add sources, I click sources, add new source, and uh, if this came from military, I just type military again, and I'll have um, military records, and I can just fill in the blanks for the military records of where I found that information. Then lastly, if I want to add a picture, I click Media and Add New Media. I can scan or choose an image from disk. And uh, I choose the picture and I can add it to his media album. Now a common question that we get from PATH users is, where did my notes go? for a person. Where did my sources, where did my pictures for a person go? Well, the way PATH works is it puts like the notes and pictures, it puts them, it attaches them to the person and not to the actual events or the facts. So you will find the notes that you entered in PATH for a person will be up here on the top line under person and right here in the notes area. If you click right here, you will see the exact notes that you typed into PATH. Likewise with the pictures, click right here and you'll see all the pictures that you had entered into PATH. And that is how you edit people in Roots Magic.